Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to paint concrete. And in particular, we use this paint for concrete patios, pool decks, walkways, sidewalks. So what we do normally is, the first thing we do is we'll pressure wash the concrete to get it all clean. And then we'll do any patching. If we get a patch, some spalling or some cracks or anything like that, we'll get those all patched up with our patch material. I'll show you what we use at the end of the video. And then, so we let that dry out. If we pressure wash it, we do that the day before, then we let it dry out. So when we show up the next day, this is what we start doing. We get, I got that little DeWalt battery uh, blower, which is awesome. I'll have that thing down in the description for you guys to check out. And we'll just blow off any residual dust or, or leaves or debris or anything like that to get the concrete clean. You can see the little bit of dust that T is blowing off just from one night. Now we're just doing that back patio in the step. We're not doing the concrete pool deck. So we're going to paint just the patio in the step. So what I'm doing is I got my little mixing station ready. And I got my, my concrete paint. Now I'm using what's called, it's an acrylic concrete waterproofing paint called Conflex. And I get it at Sherman Williams. Now there's other brands out there that are similar. I'll have to, I'll have some brands down in the description below so you can check them out and you know decide if there's one near you you could use that one. But this stuff comes in multiple different colors and uh, I like the lighter colors myself better than the darker colors just because they reflect the sun they don't get too hot. But I just start mixing it up right in the can and then I pour it in my my eight, I'm using an 18 inch roller for this for doing most of it. We, I got a four inch roller and a brush also we'll be using to cut in the edges, but most of it's done with an 18 inch roller. I like either using a half inch nap or three quarter inch nap for my roller. And it's going to kind of depend on, you know, the porosity of the concrete, how rough the concrete is. Now this patio we're doing right here had a light broom finish on it. So it, it wasn't too rough, in my opinion, it wasn't too rough. It was a fairly smooth broom finish. So what I'm, what I'm doing right now is we're going to cut in our edges. So I'll give, you know, T and I will have a brush and we got that four inch roller. We'll get our edges all cut in. You can see how we patched around those, those uh, four by four pressure treated columns there. We had to do some patching around those. That's pretty much it for patching on this. It was in pretty good shape. It was just a little uh, moldy and mildewy looking and it had some rust stains on it and just was a little weathered. So the homeowner just wanted to give it a, a, a new face, a new color. And that's why we're here, just to give it a good, good paint. Now we put two coats of this stuff on. So the first coat goes on right around 100 square feet a gallon. And then the second coat goes on relatively easy. We can even get about 200 square feet a gallon out of the second coat. So we'll be doing two coats for, on this today. And you can see once we get all the edges, it's kind of a grayish color too. There's, there's a bunch of different grays they used. Or, or you can get mixed. But this one, I, think, I believe it was called intellectual gray for uh, one of the Sherman Williams colors. And I'm just using that four inch roller. This stuff bonds really, really good. You know, for a concrete waterproofing paint, it, it has a very high adhesion rate if uh, the concrete's prepared properly. We've had good luck with it. I even put this on uh, my basketball court and it's held up really well. It's been on there five or six years. So the, the concrete paint bonds really good to this, to a patio like this. You can see how it's turning it nice and gray. And you know, you can cut all your edges in, in advance. It doesn't matter if they dry a little bit and then you go over it with the wet like I'm doing right now. It's all gonna dry the same color. That was a pretty cool thing about this too. So you could have someone go in and get all the edges cut in and then come right back and roll over it like I'm doing right now. You can see when I when I dip and roll in there, you know, I don't get a big, big area done every time I'm trying to get really good coverage. So I get my roller all dipped and saturated with the paint. And then I might go, you know, like four feet by four feet, five feet by four feet, something like that. 
with uh, one roll before I got to dip it again. So I'm not trying to thin it out or anything like that. I'm not trying to stretch it. I'm just trying to get good coverage on this first coat. And then the second coat is going to go on a lot easier. It's going to go a lot further. So this is, I mean, this is the basic process. T is down there cutting in the edges on that step, which we're going to do as soon as we get this big flat piece done. This patio is about 40 by 12, 42 by 12, something like that. So once you need more paint, you just go out and mix up a little bit more, dump it in, and then just keep going. Luckily today, I mean, we were in the shade today. It was kind of cool. It was probably in the 60s in the shade. So, you know, we weren't in any big hurry. If, if I was out in the sun and it was 80 or 90 degrees, you know, I might want to think twice about doing this out in the sun in that hot temperature. I might want to do it earlier in the morning when it's cooler or maybe later in the evening when the sun's going down. Just to make it a little bit easier. You know, you don't want the stuff drying too fast on you. You got, you got quite a bit of working time. I mean, it's a single component acrylic resin waterproofing paint. So it's, it's not like a two-part epoxy or something like that. So you got quite a bit of time to work with this stuff in the bucket, you know, hour, you got an, at least an hour, you know, if you, if you're that slow, if you can't get a couple gallons done in an hour, you know, maybe you ought to hire it out. But uh, this is definitely something you can you, do yourself with this type of paint. You just want to keep moving slow and steady. And then it dries really fast once you get it down. Like when I got done, Go, this patio part the top flat part and then I'm gonna go down and help tear on that step you know I don't know how it I didn't really time myself but it probably took me about 30 minutes to do the top part another 10 minutes to do the step I, it was ready for me to go right back on and start the second coat I didn't have to wait at all so you're gonna be able to get your two coats on you know in a relatively short amount of time so we're gonna finish up up there on that one end around the gate around the fence and then we're gonna move down here and get that one step done and then we're gonna come back and just put a second coat on yeah, you can see how nice that stuff rolls right on you know when you're painting when you're painting concrete you definitely want to get a good product I mean you don't want to have to be retouching it up every year so this product is is what we found it works best for us. This Conflex. It used to be called Surecrete, but now they changed the name for whatever reason. Now it's called Conflex, but it's similar to the it's similar to the Kills products. I think Kills has a product similar to this one that you can put on. I haven't used it, but I, I have researched it and looked it up. They do have a product very similar to this. It's a waterproofing type acrylic resin paint. So I'll have links for those down in the description there. You can check them out after the video. But you can see the 18 inch roller is really key. It allows you to cover quite a bit of area. And you don't really get, you don't really get roller lines with this stuff either. I mean, if you roll it on fairly even, it does dry a really nice consistent color. So I've never had any trouble with roller lines as long as I'm rolling everything out flat and not, not leaving a like a thick line. Yeah, the face of this thing was probably the, the most difficult. We were trying to cut in that edge on down there by the pool deck without getting any on the pool deck. So I grabbed the I grabbed the paintbrush and did the cutting and Tia did the rolling so we could get that face done. And that's the first coat. So we got to come back and put a second coat on. You, we don't just do one coat. Now you can see how nice that looks after the first coat. Now the second coat here, like I said, it just kind of glides right on because everything's pretty much all sealed up now. The first coat I was really pushing down, making sure I was getting that things and all, getting the paint in all the pores and in, uh, in you know in all the brush marks in there. It was a little bit little bit of uh, non-slip type surface so I had to work a little harder on the first coat this second one though is is just gliding right on nice and easy and you can see you can see how nice and gray that's making 
compared to how it was at first, kind of weathered, moldy, mildewy, rusty, old looking concrete. It makes it look like brand new again. So you could do this, you know, you can do this around a pool. They even have a texture, a non-slip aggregate they can put in this this type of paint. Um, and that really, that's what I put on my, my basketball court and it, work, it works really, really well. It definitely makes it less slippery when it's wet. So you could use that around a pool deck. You, we didn't use it here today. We just used the smooth stuff today because the concrete had enough texture on it already. We didn't think we needed to add any more to it. I think the smooth the smooth paint texture goes on just a little bit easier if I was rolling than the stuff with the non-slip in it. But they both they both go on pretty easy. You can see how much area I'm covering. Tia's back down there doing the face of the steps, so we can we can get both these things done and get out of here today. We're going to get that. The second coat probably went on twice as fast as the first coat as far as the timing goes. It definitely, you know, two people make this go real fast. If you can get one person helping you cut in your edges and then a second person just doing the, the most of the rolling and the mixing of the paint, then you're going to get quite a bit of area done in a relatively short amount of time. We were probably here a total from start to finish you know maybe two hours putting putting all this on on a nice day so it wasn't really there wasn't really a ton of time involved it was just it's just a matter of using the right product and knowing how to apply it how thick to put it on how much coverage you're going to get and uh i mean those are the basic keys when you paint concrete So I'm going to finish up. I'm finishing up the second coat now. If you guys like this kind of stuff, you know, go ahead down there and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate that. That, you know, you guys hitting the like button helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And what YouTube does is they help rank these videos a little higher so more people can see them and see how we do things and, and what kind of products we use in our everyday business. If you don't know me, if this is your first time watching me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. We... We specialize in all types of concrete flat work. We pour a lot of concrete. We do stamp concrete. We do staining. We do floors and slabs. So I have video, all kinds of videos about that stuff. And I come out with two videos a week. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, please go go down there and hit subscribe. And I, you know, hit the little bell notification so you'll know when I come out with new videos every week. So we're just about getting finished up with that step, and I'm going to give you. Uh, a quick before and after here of what the patio is going to look like. Now we use for the patching, you know, we used uh, Rapid Sets blue bag for the patching around those columns. I'll have that down in the description. So that's a quick setting patch material. You can see how that concrete looked before, how uh, shadowed and weathered looking it was, and this is what it looked like at the end. So brand new, looks great. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.